Thanks so much for joining us for the news at 11 tonight. We begin with those security questions in the Queen City as it seems the future of Charlotte Transportation Center is set to be underground. Yeah, the below ground design got the final OK last night, but some riders and elected officials are concerned about safety. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman shares what security at the CTC could look like underground. Here at the Transportation Center in Uptown, security staff are typically seen monitoring in and around the terminal. The Charlotte area transit system promises the future one will have proper security and lighting below to maintain safety. Now that the concourse design of the future CTC has the green light, Katz is working with private partners to continue developing the plan, including security. Somewhat more easy to uh, to maintain security given just the one platform to to monitor. Jason Lawrence with Katz arguing the underground option is the safest out of the three designs presented because it's a controlled area on one level, but it's unclear what security measures will look like. Part of the upside for putting it underground is that you can do secure access, like you have to have a ticket to go in. Many cities have underground transit centers. My daughter lives in Washington, D.C., and they have underground. And they are clean and, and, and I, I, they are, they ha they're well lit, they're secured. Charlotte's will be just for buses, like Denver's Union Station. As reported by our sister station, Nine News, the bus terminal has had issues with reported drug use and crime. But Denver police and transportation officials began cracking down on illegal activity last year. Mayor Vi Lyles so says it's important to look at what other cities got right and wrong when keeping safety in mind. This community wants to have a quality, reliable and safe system. When riders were surveyed about what was most important to them for the new transit center, improved lighting and visible security presence were at the top of the list. Construction is expected to start in 2025. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.